baseball fans and welcome interleague baseball on MLB the show it's the San Francisco Giants taking on the New York Yankees first pitch coming at you right after the break just about set to go now and on the hill the big righty Garrett Cole comes into this start sporting a lifetime ERA just over three he's been pretty great for most of his big league career can't wait to watch him in this one and welcome in everybody glad you're with us MLB the show has interleague action for you this afternoon it's the San Francisco Giants going up against the New York Yankees. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, ready to get underway. And now the shortstop, Brandon Crawford. The line to kick the pitch. In for a strike. And we're underway here this afternoon. Next offering is in for a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. Going two now. In the air, right side. Judge is there. And there's one away. Let's take a look at our lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark. They know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Tyro Estrada in the box now. No balls and a strike. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Chris, you look at Garrett Cole, and he changed in terms of his profile. He threw a lot of sinkers when he was with the Pirates when he went to Houston. No, that is, Everything ball. changed. More four-seamers and more reliance on the breaking ball. And a pitch. On the ground to the left. Throw on to Rizzo, and it's a 1-2-3 in. Back in the Bronx, and on the hill for the Giants, Logan Webb. What should we keep an eye on here? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Now the 0-1. Oh, that's low. That's the ball. They say you win. Well, I can relate being from the Bay Area. I tell you what, warmer games in Oakland than they were in San Francisco, and that can help you become an A's fan a lot. The punch out there, and there's one down. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed, it's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. He tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. And first offering is fouled off. Left hand batter waits. In the air, center field. Yastrzemski sizes this one up. Long run, tracks it down. And there's two down. And a time now to check out the New York Yankees lineup. The challenge for him today, Singy, elevating the baseball against this sinker baller that's on the mound. Yeah, that's the challenge, but it also might affect the way they approach base running in this one, Boog. You get a runner on first, you anticipate trajectory down, and when the ball's in the dirt with a good secondary lead, you break for second. So whether it's a stolen base or not, you stay out of the double play, get that runner in a scoring position, and that can help you put more. And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. We head to the second from the big ballpark in the Bronx. No score. Top of the second, here's the center fielder, Mike Yastrzemski. 
There's a strike. He's one of the two pitchers to strike out 14 batters in three consecutive games. Pedro Martinez was the other to do it, but Garrett Cole, again, just a dominant pitcher that wants to finish what he starts. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Gassed it right by him. And here is Michael Conforto. Oh, he hit him. That hit him. And Batter, that got him pretty flush. Well, anytime one of your guys gets drilled, it catches everyone's attention in the dugout. And you know what? It kind of gets you fired up. Joey what? Bart stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. Next That's pitch misses. One and one. When Cole's brother-in-law, Brandon Crawford, took him deep, Cole signed a pair of spikes for Brandon Crawford. One that said, adios, pelota, and the other one that said, out of here. Yeah, calls by the great John Miller and Dwayne Kuyper of the San Francisco Giants. And Aaron makes a nice grab out there. And there's two down. And up next for San Francisco, David Villar. Good. And that's in there for strike one. Conforto off of first with two away. Next offering no, is low. down low. Oh. And that is ball one. Ground ball right side. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly to first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. So two down. Now it's J.D. Davis. Lifted in the air, right field. Judge has it sized up. He's got it. And that is out number three. Giants leave a couple. We'll go to the bottom of the... Back here at the ballpark. Bottom of the go. second. Before Stepping in, Oswaldo Cabrera. And a pitch. In the air, out towards right center. Conforto on the move to the gap. He makes the grab. And there's one down. Batting the catcher, Kyle. And next for New York, Kyle Higashioka. The outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. On the ground. Two up, two down. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Now here's Aaron Hicks. The outfield shifted pretty heavily towards right field. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh no one. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. That one ran inside, almost got him. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. And the righty deals. Way inside, and that hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. I like his intent there to be aggressive with the slider and make sure he got it inside, but he just yanked it across his body. A little too much horizontal rotation with the upper body instead of north-south. A one down. In the air, left field, Flores under it, and that is that. One left for the Yankees. We'll move to the third with no score.
back for more from the Bronx top half of the third inning and digging in for San Francisco Wilmer Flores Cole back to work leadoff man retired here in the third here's Brandon Crawford he's over one next pitch has popped up Rizzo under it but it's the pitcher that makes the play two away boy that was a hanging breaking ball right there I think he tried to do a little bit too much sometimes those eyes can get really big I think his swing broke down as well and that's what caused him to pop it up sharp grounder that's through for a base hit All over that one right there. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. Connor Falefa picks it up. They take the force out, and that is that. So the Giants leave one, and we're still knotted at zero. now in the Bronx Leading bottom off. of the Florida inning Yankees. here comes Glaber Torres the he's hitter. sitting on 99 Go career homers Go we'll see if this is the moment to notch number 100 yeah. there's a strike Torres a guy the Yankees acquired for Aroldis Chapman back in 2016 he is fearless you can't tell if he's been in this league for eight years or two years Flores makes the play and there's one down Here's Stanton now. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Stanton, a guy capable of hitting it a long way. Oh, you can tell how comfortable he is. Look at that front foot on the line as he is close to the plate. But he can be very quick to a pitch that is down and in. Here's a one-two. And a ball Thank evens the count. He's a guy that's changed his stance over time. It's been a little more open, straight up, and now more closed. One thing hitters will do, it's not so much about the stance, but it's what it does to the brain in terms of resetting and how they approach the pitcher. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. And go! Stanton goes deep. His second of the year. It's 1-0. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. It's Aaron Judge now. Swung on, belted. That's back there. And that one is out of here. Aaron Judge leads the yard. And they add a run. It's 2-0. Back Jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Rizzo goes six feet, three inches, 33 years old, and he's a former National League Gold Glover. Next offering misses, and the count is 2-0. Left hand hitter waits. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. Good eye right there. Still only one out here in the inning. 
On the ground to third. Fires across the diamond. Rizzo out of the play. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. LeMayhew in the box now as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. In the air to left center, Yastrzemski drops steps, heads back on it. Racing makes the catch. And that'll do it. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. And welcome back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Mike Yastrzemski. Oh. First offering, misses the mark. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown oh, inning. Oh. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. They say you win. Two balls, one strike. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. And it gets into the corner, but it's foul. Three and two now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Three, two on the way. Got him. One down. The batter will be Michael Conforto. Hit by a pitch his first time up. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this one and point. One down, base is empty. That one drifts inside. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. That one in for a strike, two and two. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. Righty to the plate. And that's ball four. Ball four. Take your base. Up next to the Giants. Runner on at first with one gone. This is Joey Bart. In there, and it's 0-1. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. And ball one. Conforto over at first with one away. The next offering misses. And a count 2-1. Hit on the ground might be two. Over to Connor Falefa. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. Bottom of the fourth. Now the third baseman, Oswaldo Cabrera. And first offering is fouled off. Say four homers in 22 games at Old Yankee Stadium. What do you remember? Well, I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game and you know before that game in the clubhouse there was a gentleman there who owned a suit company there in downtown Manhattan and he said to me hey kid you hit a home run in the game tonight come over to the store tomorrow and I'll give you a free suit. Yastrzemski puts the squeeze on that one and a quick out number one. So I went to the game I happened to hit two when I walked into the store the next day and he looked at me and said you're trying to put me out of business aren't you. And that was a great <laughs> Great experience that I had as a rookie playing against the Yankees playing in New York. The 0 1. So did Super Joe give you two suits? Super Joe hooked me up with two suits. Swing and a miss. It's a ball and two strikes. And that's outside. Oh. 
Swings and misses. Struck him out. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch. Tailing away from the hitter, low and away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. Tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. Smoked on the ground a second. On to Peterson, and Hicks is out. And that here in New York, ready now for the fifth inning. Leading off, David VR. The right-hander back to work. And there's a ball. Slice to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Now it's J.D. Davis. First pitch, and he just misses. There's a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. One, it's amazing to look up and see 88 miles per hour on that changeup. Back in the day, that was a pretty good fastball. But with high velocities these days, that speed differential is right where it needs to be. The pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And the first two set down at the top of the fifth. And now it's Wilmer Flores. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. In there for strike one. Swing and a miss as he was out oh, front. Well, this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Softly hit the third, and he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. The pitch. And that's a strikeout looking. A controversial called strike three to Let's go down quietly, and they're down 2 nothing. Back in the Bronx, Isaiah kiner falefa up to the plate. And the right hander back to work. Gets the outside corner with that one. For you growing up in New York City, I mean, you're a big sports fan. Tell me about your experience with the Yankees growing up. I really went to Shea Stadium more than I did to Yankee Stadium. I grew up a Phillies fan. There was one game, though, that I went to as a kid. I sat in the upper deck. Now it was the game that Bo Jackson hit hitter. three homers in his Play first girl. three plate appearances right. and then hurt his shoulder diving for Deion Sanders inside the park home run. That's probably the most memorable game that I ever attended as a fan at Old Yankee Stadium. Glaber Torres up to the plate and the oh, first pitch it. misses for ball one. Good eye right there. The 2-0 is in for a strike. At the belt and fires. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Crawford settles underneath it. Makes the grab one down. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield the for that catch. We all know those could be a little tricky, especially if the wind swirling around out there. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. One for one so far today with a solo homer in his first at bat. First pitch, just misses. That one missed. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. Next offering is in for a strike. Connor Falefa, the runner at first, with one gone in the inning. 2 1 pitches in there, and the count is even. Webb picks over. Connor Falefa dives back in.
Next pitch is outside. Full count three and two. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3 2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Judge at the plate now. That's ball one. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. And he deals. Now three and oh. Runners at first and second with one gone. And a four pitch walk. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. And here is Anthony Rizzo. First pitch doesn't find the zone. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. One out, base is full. One, two now. Battling here as he fouls it away. One, two now. Towards first. Dives and he can't hang on. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Now it's LeMay now up to hit. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That one back. One run across. It bangs off the wall. The run comes in to score from second. It's 5 nothing. Waste no time there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. A great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. The manager out of the dugout and he'll make a move for the bullpen. Logan Webb won't go any further. We'll be back in a minute with a new Jacob Junis on the pitch here. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say spin rate's very high and it just breaks a ton. Now, Oswaldo Cabrera. Rip to right center, and that one will leave the park. Out of here. His first homer of the year, and they boost their lead. It's 7-0. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. And the first offering is not close. Swings through that one. One on one. Next one that's misses, and that's ball two. And that one is lifted in the air. Conforto under it. And that's the inning. Top of the sixth inning at the play. Brandon Crawford. Yeah. In for a strike. And that's strike one. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse 
go after hitters and get quick outs. Well, I don't think that pitch would have been the called a strike, but he did such a nice job wow. of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Crawford on at first. Nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Some kind of a weird pitch and a weird swing on that strikeout. It's just a slider that caught a lot of the plate. I'd say a very hittable location. But in the box, I think he just gave up on it way too early. And by the time he realized it was dropping into the zone, he just fires off a really poor swing. Quick feed to second for one. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Back in the Bronx, Aaron Hicks now. Junis back to work. Foul ball there. Junis, a 6-3 righty. He features a slider, a sinker, a changeup, a cutter, and he works in a four-seamer. In the air, left field. Puts the squeeze on that one. One away. And up next for New York, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Pitch misses inside. One and oh. Kiner Falefa goes five feet, 11 inches, 190 pounds. And he's one of the few players in Major League nope. Baseball born in Hawaii. Two up. That one in for a strike, two and two. Swing and a miss, struck him out. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. That one fouled off. The 0-1. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. Welcome back. Mike Yastrzemski up here. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And that's outside. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So that's a good take by him. Next offering is in for a strike. Side gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. The 2 2. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Michael Conforto will climb in. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1 0. This one chopped up the middle. And two away to start the seventh. Now batting. Catcher. Joey Bart. Joey Bart, the next to hit. First offering, and it just misses. Swing and a miss. One, one. Up the middle. In plenty of time to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. Bottom of the seventh, and now the center fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. And the pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Tyler Rogers up and throwing for Gabe Kapler. Swing and a ground ball out to short. 
Crawford throws the first in time. And they take care of Stanton for the out. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. He's already homered here in this one. And that's in there for strike one. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. The wind of the pitch. That's down and in. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Rizzo stands in now and watches strike one. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Well, two outs and a chance to put up a zero on the scoreboard here, and that's not something that's come easy for this staff in this one. Up the middle. Oh, he gloves it. The throw, and very nicely done for the out. Yanks. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Wandy Peralta. This is his third time out this year. And here comes VR in the box again. Takes a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. That one ripped. Judge going back on it. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. J.D. Davis leaves the yard. His first homer of the year, and they're chipping away. It's 7-2. This guy's velocity, a changeup, is really a break for a hitter. He got a BP fastball, didn't move a whole lot, and he absolutely tattooed it. Wilmer Flores now at the plate. That right. one's in there, 0 and 1. Next offering misses down and away. 1 and 1. Next one oh. off the plate inside, 2 and 1. Yeah, that skips in the dirt. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. 3-2. In the air, right side of the infield. Rizzo makes the grab, and there's one down. Brandon Crawford, the next giant to hit. Now batting. Shortstop. Brandon. First offering misses badly for ball one. Brandon Crawford, a kid who grew up a Giants fan. His dad had season tickets at Candlestick Park and then at, what was it initially? Pac Bell Park. Next pitch misses inside. Two and one. Just miss. Check swing, now an appeal to third. And he held up just enough. That's ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Peterson, right. batting with one down, takes a strike. There was a high-velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. That misses the zone, and it's one and two. Crawford leads off first with one away. Next pitch misses, and yeah, that's ball two. On the ground, could be two. Connor Falefa to second, over to first, safe. Now batting, the second base. Tyro Estrada to the plate. Estrada. First pitch, and he just misses. 
There's a strike. Hey, he doubled up on the off speed there. We talk about the power of fastball, but he's working a little differently here. And that's a base hit. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. He was all over that one. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Ah, when the Giants go deep, it's bye-bye, baby. It's 7-2. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Tyler Rogers. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Yo, one. And that clips the inside corner. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Next pitch just up. misses. And a count one and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Bounce to the right side. Throws to first. One up, one down. Now here's the Yankees cleanup hitter, Oswaldo Cabrera. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Movement in the bullpen. Johnny Brebbia up and throwing. Left field. Flores moving under it. He's got it, and there's two away. Kyle Higashioka digs in now. And first offering is fouled off. Next offering is fouled back. Ouch. That's one of those lookout pitches. As soon as it leaves the pitcher's hand, you start bracing for impact, knowing that it's going to be hard to get out of the way of that one. Picks in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. There's a fly ball deep right field. That one's back there. Makes the catch up against the wall. The Yanks lead one, but they're still on. All set to start the ninth in this one. And now, Michael Conforto. The pitch. That one the other way. And out number one on the grab. Here's the catcher, Joey Bart. A new arm into the game, the righty, Albert Abreu. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. He didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. Throw on to Rizzo, and the Giants down to their final out. So two down now, and here is David VR. This to third. And that is the ball game. I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle-of-the-pack team. Every ball club 
wants to be dominant at home. Winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence and makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one. 7-2 your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi saying so long. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Yankees. Seven runs, five hits. No errors. They left two men on base. For the Giants, two runs, six hits. No errors. They left seven men on base.